Are you ready to have your website get found by the right people? Are you looking to rank at the top of Google so you get more traffic to your website? Are you ready to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your organic traffic? If so, you are in the right place, my friend. Welcome to the Simple SEO Content Podcast, where I show you how to combine the power of SEO, search engine optimization, and content marketing to build your like, know, and trust factor with your audience, which allows you to get found by the right people and turn those visitors into buyers. No more frustration or confusion and no more time wasted wondering if you're doing your SEO right. It's time to learn how to use SEO and content marketing to grow your business. Hi there. Welcome back to the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Lindtigen, and I'm so glad to have you with me today. Today, we're going to talk about something really super important, and that is how do we create a content strategy that makes money for our business? So if you've been creating content, but you're not yet making money from it, or you're not yet getting traffic to it, then make sure you stay tuned because that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's episode. So starting out, we're just going to go ahead and assume that we're all creating content on a weekly basis. And I know, I know, I know what happens when we assume. Well, we're just going to assume it. Okay, guys. (laughs) So if you're not yet creating weekly content, I want you to commit to doing so in order to get results. And the results that we're looking to get will be to rank higher on Google so that you get found by the right people when they're searching for information related to your business, to generate traffic to get people coming to your website, to build more leads, to have people finding you coming to your website and hopefully showing interest in your business, and then ultimately to sell more products or book more services through your website thanks to that nice increase in traffic that's coming from your content. So that's what we're trying to achieve is to really drive this business based off organic traffic, SEO, and content working together. So how do we do this and make sure that the content that we're creating is going to help us to make money? So first thing first, I want you to think about your ideal customer. If you do not yet have your ideal customer really truly nailed down, you cannot yet describe them as vividly as you would describe your best friend, then that's the first thing I want you to do is to really, really hone in on who is my ideal customer and how do I help them and what differentiates me from the competition. If you're not sure how to do this, I want you to listen to the Business Owners Podcast. It's here on Simple SEO Content, the Business Owners Special Version that is all about your ideal customer. And I'll make sure that we link that because that's going to help you to understand who they are. So first things first, you're going to focus on your ideal customer. All content that you create is created for your ideal customer. It is not created for Google. It is not created for the search engine. Okay. All content is created for your ideal customer. All content provides value for your ideal content, your ideal customer. All content is helpful so that Google wants to show it to other people. Google's algorithm, the current algorithm is referred to as the helpful content algorithm. That means Google is looking for content that provides value, that is helpful, that answers questions, that gives your reader insight and information. So you need to think about when you are laying out your content plan, you need to think about your ideal customer and how can you help them. What I teach my students to do is to choose four pillars or four topic areas that they want to talk about on a regular basis on their blog. So if your business has products and services you, my friend, are going to have pillars that tie to your products or services. So let's go through a couple of examples. Let's say that you're a realtor 
and you work with buyers and sellers, you really love to work with first time home buyers. They light you up. They're what makes you happy. Even though it's maybe not the biggest sale, it's maybe a little more complicated or maybe there's more hand holding because this is their first time going through the process, but that's who you love working with. And then maybe you have a farm community or maybe you really want to focus on a specific neighborhood. So your content pillars might be general buyers and sellers, but then you might also have first time home buyers as one of your content pillars and then your um, neighborhood or your community, your farm area as your fourth pillar. If you were, let's go back to the chocolate chip cookie recipe blog post that we've talked about a couple of times recently on different episodes. So let's pretend for a minute that you are a bakeware company. You make really niche, really cool bakeware. And so in order to sell your products, Let's say that you sell cookbooks, you sell recipes, you sell products, and maybe you have cooking classes or baking classes. Maybe they're online. So your topics, your pillars might be recipes. So it might be the free recipes that bring them into your world. It might be about your products so that you can sell your products. It might be about classes. It might be tips or techniques. And then it might be ingredients. If you sell ingredients, you have other things like that. So that's what I want you to really think about is how can you break your business up into different categories that help your ideal customer? Because the best way to create a content strategy that's going to make money for your business is to ensure that all of the content that you create ties back to your business in one way or another. So if you offer products for sale, you want to have content that helps to support someone who is interested in potentially purchasing those products. If you offer services, it's going to be the same type thing. What can you do? How can you help them? So let's go back to the realtor example for a minute. <clears throat> and let's just go into the first time home buyer. So the first time home buyer content pillar, we might want to have blogs on how do you qualify for your first home loan? What do you look for? How much mortgage payment can you afford? What all is involved in buying a home? How do you qualify for a home mortgage? How long does it take for a closing? All these type things that your first time home buyer might be asking, might be trying to figure out, might be trying to understand that would tie to buying a home. By creating content that's helpful to them, first off, you're making Google happy because your content is helpful. It gives them information. It guides them. It brings them through the process. If you optimize that content for Google, meaning you choose a keyword where you can rank, you do your SEO the right way, you use the keyword in all the places that Google's going to look for, you have a better chance of ranking higher in Google search results, which will mean you have a better chance of being found by that potential first-time home buyer when they're starting to search for things like, how do I qualify for a home? How much down payment do I need on my first home? How can, how long does it take to close? How do I fix my credit so I'm ready to buy a house? Like all of those things. They're more likely to see you if you've done the SEO on your content. Because your content is geared towards them, they're going to find it. They're going to read it. They're going to feel that connection because they know who you are thanks to your SEO. Then your content, if it's helpful and it provides value and it feels like there's a connection, they're going to like you and they're going to begin to trust you because you are an expert. They can tell that you know what you're talking about. They feel confident that you can help them. This is how you start to make money from the content that you're creating because you have created that content with your ideal customer in mind. This is so important, you guys. I don't want you to just create a piece of content for the sake of creating a piece of content. I want you to make sure that every time 
you create content, you can answer the question, does my ideal customer care about this? If your ideal customer doesn't care about it, don't spend the time creating it because creating a bunch of content that nobody's searching for, nobody's interested in, nobody needs, isn't going to help you grow your business. It's not going to help you make money. So focus on your ideal customer. First things first, always, always, always focus on your ideal customer. Think about the questions that they have. Think about the questions you're asked all the time. Do some keyword research. Go to Google and use Google suggested search and see what people are searching. Go to Quora, go to an answer the public. Like, Go do your research and understand and find out what people are asking about your pillars within your business. So you've got your ideal customer. You're breaking your business up into four pillars, four focus areas. From there, you're creating one piece of content each month for each of those pillars. And that's why I suggest that you do four pillars, just because it makes life easier. If you have four pillars, we generally have four weeks in a month. That's one piece of content per pillar per month, which allows you to continually provide value to your different ideal customers, staying top of mind, driving more traffic to your website, ultimately making more money. So now you're creating content for your ideal customer. That's step number one. You're thinking about them. You're breaking your content into four pillar areas. You're creating one post each month for each of your pillar areas. So you've got four posts each month. You're optimizing. This is really critical, you guys. You're optimizing those blog posts, that content for Google. Do not continue to write blog posts and not optimize them, not do your keyword research, not write your title tag and your meta descriptions and all the things that I talk about. Because 90% of all web pages don't get any search traffic. And the reason they don't get search traffic is they're not optimized or they're not optimized the right way. Do not waste your time creating content if you're not going to optimize it. You're not going to optimize it the right way because nobody's going to find it. It's not going to help you make money. This is why I'm so passionate about this, you guys. You have to do both. So create great content, optimize it for Google. If you're not sure what your ideal customer wants you to write about, you're not sure how to optimize it, you don't know how to choose the right keyword, guys, join me in Simple SEO Content. I promise this is what I teach. I'll walk you through it. We'll make sure you're on the right track. You'll have everything you need to know. We'll make sure that you get the results that you're looking to get from your content. If you do what I teach you, you're going to be found by the right people on Google because your website is going to show up higher. You're going to have content that provides value, that brings them into your sales funnel, that brings them into your world. And your content is going to make you money because your content pieces are tied to your products and services. They highlight them. They showcase how you can help. And that, my friend, is how you create a content strategy that makes money for your business. And that's what I want for you. I want you to succeed. I want you to make money. And I want you to be able to have the life that you dream of right now. If you want to work part-time and you want to earn full-time living, this is one of the keys that can get you there. So get started today. If you're not sure how to choose those right keywords, watch my free class. That's going to get you started. Download the SEO content quick start guide. Both of those are available on the freebies tab, etchedmarketing.com forward slash freebies. And then join me in simple SEO content. I'll walk you through how to do all of this to make sure that you get the results from it. All right. Thank you for being here and I will see you next week. That's all for today's episode of the Simple SEO Content Podcast. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you visit my website, etchedmarketing.com, and visit the freebies tab. Right there, you're going to find the SEO Content Quick Start Guide along with the free SEO class. So you'll have everything you need to know to get started with SEO and content marketing. Then do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, if you would do a rating and a review of this podcast on your favorite platform, that would really help spread the message. And I do greatly appreciate it. 
If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Instagram at Etched Marketing Academy, and I will see you right back here next week.